Yeah, so no, yeah, but definitely go go ahead, shout out, shout out your social media handles if you if you want to, if you want to shout out your social medias. Um, my social medias. Um, I have a I have a photographer because I'm a photographer. Uh -oh. So my photography, um, my photography Instagram is Goddess Artwork with the C W O R C, and um, I prefer for people to follow me on Twitter. I have mm -hmm. a Twitter uh, platform, Nay the Goddess, T H A, and Goddess instead of um, E S S E S Z. Goddess, okay, got you. That's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, so I I definitely wanted to start it off with with what's been going on with um with Shanquilla Robinson, man. Like that whole that whole story. I ain't even gonna lie. It's very rare that I get emotional with, with certain things, but that that one that one hit home for me. I, I don't know why, like. I saw the video and I have I have a younger sister. She's 27. And I just saw my sister going through that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I just, I felt so emotional. I was, I was really upset about it, man. I had to redo my video at least two, three times because I kept cussing in the video. I'm like, okay, I can't really cuss that much because YouTube was, you know, trying to demonetize Can you yourself. cuss on here too? You can cuss. Yeah, you can cuss. It's like I'm they, not vulgar, but yeah. I do. You know, I'm not vulgar, but okay. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm this one. It was really yeah, emotional for you. Yeah, it was it, it was emotional, man, because YouTube will, like, they'll let you slide. If you say, like, three, four cuss words, they'll let you slide. But if you just, like, going crazy with it, they'll be like, nah, bro, okay, you got to slow it down. You no, know what I'm not, because I have a lot to say about that situation, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a, a lot of, a lot more information been dropping, but definitely tell, like, what, what was your thoughts on it? When, like, from the beginning, um, middle, end? My thoughts on it was definitely, it's just pure evil to me, you know? I kind of just um just being a woman something that i notice because it's something that i go through on a daily basis but if you notice if you look at the other women versus the one who was the victim uh miss shanquila mm -hmm. she was i noticed the sense of jealousy in it you know yeah. because the other women i'm not saying they were unattractive but they weren't as attractive as the victim and, yeah. and I noticed um, a lot of women have something I like to call prettiest bitch in the room syndrome. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, because it happens, you know, because <laughs> it happens. They have prettiest bitch in the room syndrome yeah. and they can't stand to be next to other pretty women, you know, yeah. and even like you think these women are your friends. You know what I'm saying? You think these women are your friends, but the whole time they're comparing yourselves to you, you yeah. know, and not to say like, you know, I mean, I'd say, you know, I know I'm pretty sure of myself. And when I walk in the room, I feel like it does show because I've had women not talk to me. And I'm I directly talk to these women just asking a question and they won't even say anything to me because they feel however they feel about themselves, you know. Yeah. And so um, that was kind of the energy that I was getting. And um, I don't know if this is true or not, but word and a her were that I don't you know, I don't want to put any false information <laughs> out there. But I heard that these women were transgender women. And yeah, so I feel like saying. she was probably they were transgender. Yeah, that's, that's what so, everybody's saying. Yeah, we, we 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 still we still waiting on a confirmation. We still because I on wasn't sure. I wasn't sure, but she was the prettiest one. She was the prettiest transgender she, woman <laughs> out of all of those women, if that's true. And I'm yeah. not saying they weren't attractive, but they were not that girl. So that's really, you know, and another thing too, I thought it was just pure evil because um even, I don't know, I don't think that, what could she have done to deserve that? But, you know, I've been in fights, I've seen other people fight, and yeah. there's a time where it just gets too far. Like, no matter yeah. how much I don't like somebody, I would never watch somebody smash a brick to somebody's head, or, you know, for it to get that far. So it's like, it just kind of seemed like it was, I don't know, planned, plotted to me. I didn't yeah. watch the video. I can. I'm way too sensitive. And I would have been cussing. My friend watched yeah. it and she's cussing. So <laughs> I just I thought it was pure evil, uh, jealousy, hatred, you know. Mm -hmm. There's another way. If they didn't like her, they could have just cut her off. You know what I'm saying? I don't see why you had to kill her. How does it what's in the water where we're killing people because we don't like them? Like that's just crazy. Yeah, no, nah, it was it was it was sad, man. I, I was I I mean. And, and and the more details came out. So apparently, um, you, well, I don't know if you noticed, but she's she has like a very successful salon, um, company and stuff Ooh. like that. Like, so, so she does like hair and stuff. 
She was the person mm-hmm. that um, funded the whole trip because apparently they couldn't afford the trip. So she bought the plane ticket. She bought the Airbnb for them. All of that stuff, man. And so the thing, the thing that, so it's, again, it's like you said, it was all jealousy, um, envy, all of that. So uh, everything's been going out, coming out as far as them being transgender, as far as uh, them not having as much money as her and they were using her and stuff like that. Her sister came out um, and she started her GoFundMe page and everything. Her sister came out a couple of days ago and was like, oh, De- Dejanae, who's the first girl who assaulted her, she was like, oh, Dejanae never liked my sister. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, she would tell Shanquilla all the time that, yo, I don't like her. Like, you need to stop hanging around her. You know what I'm saying? So now now that, like, little little by little, more and more stuff is not coming out. You know, the funeral was yesterday and stuff like oh, that. So, um, yeah, yeah, they, they, they finally oh. laid her to rest. But it was just sad, man. Like, she was stuck in Mexico for, like, over a week and a half, two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Because the parents wow. couldn't afford to get the body here. Wow. You know what I mean? So it was, it was just, it was just, it was just sick, man. It was really sick. Like I, I could never. I'm like, you, you say that this is your best friend. Like there's no way in hell I'm gonna leave my best friend's body in another country. Like no, I'm gonna right. stay with the body until the family comes or until they ship the body there back home. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You mean tell me all of y'all caught a flight back to America and y'all left her there? Right. Right. That's how you know it was just hatred. And then come to find out, the girl had money. I didn't even know that part. So there, she was beautiful. And she had money, and she probably, I mean, they were hanging, her sister said, I don't like her, so she didn't like her, so I don't know, she was funding everything, so she had some type of heart, it just kind of yeah. seems, it, I mean, if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it ain't <laughs> a witch, you know, <laughs> so. I, I was hurt, man, and then, like, you know, coming out, seeing, like, the, um, the, the dad is what got it for me, because the dad started crying on TMZ, he was like, oh, I always thought I would bury my child, my child would bury me, I didn't think I would be the one burying my child right. and stuff like that and so like, like most parents right. yeah yes exactly exactly so I, I was just i was just hurt all around man i was man um so the whole thing that we're waiting on because everybody's like well why aren't they arrested yet because the crime happening outside of america is mm-hmm. not really much that the justice system here can do um mm-hmm. mexico ruled it as no foul play was involved which i, I don't know why you know yeah i, I, I don't I know. care about the darker complected real <laughs> i think that's part of it you know i could be digressing you know yeah. what i'm saying but... yeah i think you know what i think it is because the father um he said something that i thought was interesting the father said that uh shanquilla had some missing uh money credit cards and stuff like that uh um... jewelry all of that stuff so he's he's saying that they stole up to six thousand dollars worth of stuff from her so wow. my, my thing my thing is did you steal the money because y'all wanted to steal the money? Because it's six of y'all. So if y'all stole the money, each of y'all only walked away with a thousand. That that doesn't. I mean, that that's really not nothing. Or did y'all steal this money from her and then pay off the Mexican police uh, to listen as no foul play? Like you get what I'm saying? Like that, that's what yeah, I'm American to. money is a lot of money yeah. in Mexico. So yeah. yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see that. So I, I'm, that, I, that's that's what, that's what wow. we were trying to figure out, man. Because it's it's so much stuff going on, but. Everybody wants all of this stuff to be resolved, but I don't think it's going to be resolved anytime soon. I think it's going to be probably mm-hmm. we're probably going to be talking about this for months. We're going to be talking about this for months, man. So I I, I don't I don't yeah. know. I definitely think they paid the Mexican police off because one of the guys that was involved, um, I think his name was Malik. One of the guys that was the guy that was recording, he was basically saying, "Oh well, uh, we didn't know how I didn't know how bad her injuries was until I saw her next to the pool." He said that he was holding her and rubbing on her and stuff like that, and he said that she was responsive. At the time, right? She was. She's next to the pool. She's response. She's quote unquote responsive. And he said that. Oh, only thing I saw was she had a knot on the side of her head and a busted lip. So mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, well, if that's true, if the Mexican police pulled up and saw all that, why would they rule it no foul play if she had bruises on her face? You know what I'm saying? So it's a whole bunch, a whole bunch of lies going on. Mm-hmm. They came back to America, telling the mom, oh, she died of alcohol poisoning, which obviously is not true. Um, mm-hmm. she died of she died of alcohol poisoning. When the girl that was in the first video that you saw, oh, you said you said you didn't see it, but I didn't see it, the video. You you don't you don't have to watch it. I I, I wish I didn't see it. I'm scared. <laughs> I can't. I can't handle things like that. You know, I can't. I can't. I didn't even go. I everything that you're telling me is new to me. Like I didn't even know. Um, you know, the money coming up missing. So yeah. everything that you're saying, because I heard the story, I looked at the people, I read a little bit of the article, and that was it. <laughs> I haven't been really following. Because I just kind of, you know, I get tired of seeing things like, you know, yeah. it was unnecessary. Facts. Facts. 
Yeah, no, nah, no, nah. it's 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 just it's just been a whole bunch of um a whole bunch of stuff, man. But uh, Dejanae, who was the original girl that was assaulting her, mm -hmm. um, went to the mom's house and was trying to like console the mom, like just dirty, just dirt, dirty stuff, bro. Was consoling oh, the mom, God. telling the mom, oh, it was alcohol poisoning, it was alcohol poisoning, um, like you know, just don't worry about it and all this that. I'm not even don't worry about. It. That's my child. You know what I'm saying? And so when the Why? mom finally finally got the money up to get the coroner to do uh, an autopsy on the body, which is expensive, uh, get the, do the autopsy, yeah. have the results, and then ship the body back to uh, back to America. All that was damn near $9,000, $10,000. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that the average people, I can't afford $10,000. I can't come up with 10 stacks. Off Not at this moment. <laughs> One day I will, but today is the day. <laughs> <laughs> so so she found so she finally came up with it. They they shipped the body back and they ruled, you know, of course, they ruled that she had um, you know, a, a broken spine, broken neck, um, head trauma, head contusions, and stuff like that. So uh it's it's just it's just been really sad. I'm I'm actually happy that Kyrie Irvin he donated sixty five thousand uh I've to seen the that. Fund. I did yeah, so see I, that. Yep. I was happy about mm -hmm. that. I was like, yo, because they, they definitely needed that money, man. Cause for them to come up with ten thousand dollars and then came up with another five, ten thousand for the funeral, I know that was expensive. Yeah, mm. I know that. I know. I know that was expensive, man. So, do you do you think that? Um, because, in my honest opinion, I think I would have seen some type of jealousy with someone, and that's one of the reasons why I don't. I don't have like I have like associates or free call friends, whatever. Uh, but I keep everybody to a, to a distance. You know what I'm saying? Because back when I was um, I, I was born and raised in Broward County, man. So I, I lived in Shadowside my whole life. I, I will never forget when I first graduated high school, graduated from BA, Boy Anderson. And mm -hmm. I came back to the hood and and people was hating because I graduated from high school. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, oh, you, oh, you think you're all that because you got a high school diploma? I'm like, damn, bro, it's just a, it's a high school diploma. Like I'm, high school diploma. Yeah, damn, y'all hating on high school. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I, I thought y'all gonna say congratulations or something. I didn't know y'all was gonna be mad. But when you see stuff like that, it made me separate myself from all of them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking to myself, is there any way that Shanquilla seen any of these types of um, characteristics or personalities from these girls that she was hanging with or anything like that? Because why would you even want to hang with someone like that? So do you, do you see anything like that or have you seen anything like that with someone that you thought was close to you or a friend or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I've seen it with, um, you know, people who were close to me, but they're no longer friends. But, you yeah. know, sometimes it takes people longer because I had people who could not see that the people that they were surrounding themselves with did not like them because their heart was this big. You know, their yeah. their their heart overshadowed those, their sight, if that makes any yeah. sense, you know? Yeah. And so you have to, like, you know, try, even when you try to sit down and talk to these people, like you said, the sister tried to tell her, but yeah. she probably was so like, oh, you know, that's my homegirl, that's my friend. You know what I'm saying? I've been knowing her since such and such and such. Oh, sometimes people, they don't see it, you know? And then yeah. she was rich, so she probably was just, hella happy all the time so she it's like emotions kind of take over logic in a sense yeah. and then i just feel like people don't want to believe that the people who they love are in that inner are in that energy you know they don't want to yeah. believe that the people who they love would hurt them like that and sometimes you have people also who are just so forgiving like i know she did that i know she did this but you know, and they start looking at the little things that they've done. But, you know, she's always done this and she loved me. And, you know, we've been able to talk about this when I had nobody and she did this and they're ignoring and putting to the back burner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's obvious to the to other people? Like, are you not seeing this? So it exactly. could have been a sense where she just didn't maybe she didn't notice. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she didn't see it. Maybe she didn't want to see it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know. I don't know, you know. Yeah, it could have been, you know. But I've definitely have seen that, so I I could most definitely see where she could may have been ignoring it, you know, and just didn't think maybe if she got to live a little longer, she'd cut yeah. those people off in the future, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she was only what 24, 24, 25, something like that. Yeah, like, you know, and that's personally twenty five and twenty six is when you actually wake up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Though she didn't even get to be to her wake up years yet, so yeah. you know it's a strong possibility. You know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. It's I, um like, like like I was saying, I, we're still waiting on the um on the justice system to do something because technically, like I said, America really can't do anything about it. But if we can get Mexico to reopen this case, 
uh, which is what everybody's been waiting on, then they can have they can force them to leave the country, go back to Mexico uh, to go through the go through the trials. So that's that's literally what, what, what we're all waiting for. But I don't think that's going to resolve anytime soon. And the longer we wait, the worse it's going to get, because that's going to give these people, you know, more time to flee the damn country. To go to you, you know where, wherever they want they want to damn go to Cuba and hide out somewhere and you know get their money up and where they don't even have to go to trial exactly so you know exactly exactly but so, I do hope that that family gets justice for their baby you know I most definitely do you know that it it you know it hurt me when I heard it you know it's real unfortunate and it's unfortunate for them too because you guys were still young as well. So you guys just all ruined everybody's life, mm. including, you know, your own. It's just sad all together. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that all, all six of them, them go. And, and they, they all they all deactivated their Facebook, their Instagram, of course. I bet. Change, change their numbers and all, all of that. Like, every, everybody. I bet. Trying, all of them. I'm, I'm like, yeah, y'all y'all going to be on the run for the rest of your life because we, we, we going to need some answers. <laughs> we They're going to always, answers. just like. Everybody still remember Kinnika, just like everybody remember yeah. uh, Trayvon Martin. You'll never yeah. be able to live in peace after that once you've gone, you know, to this extent. And, you know, it became a major story. So as they should, they should be in hiding. And people should harass their social media. You bought this energy on yourself, yeah. you know? Yeah. No, that, that's that's how it goes, man. I, I can't I can't wait to see the day. I, I, I'm going to be sitting there smiling as hell so when they say guilty. I'm like, yes. Sit y'all ass in the me and Mexican prison is horrible. Like I've heard some horrible things in Mexican prisons, man. Like, well, different countries prisons, period. But definitely in Mexico, yes, all different. Bad. Yes, are worse than bad. America. I'd I rather go bad. to American prison than Guatemala <laughs> or Mexico or even the Japanese. They are terrible. They are scary. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at them. I'm like, bro, they already don't like us because you American, number one. But you black too? Oh yeah. Exactly. And then oh, you black too, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a wrap. You, you can you can hang that up, man. No, I I, I definitely um yeah. So de definitely R.I.P. R. R. Peter Shankula, man. The finish line, I ran past it. So egotistic, so cocky, so conceited. Cause I'm better than your average. I'm mad sick when I spit that shit. When I spit that flow, she gon' want to catch my drift. Soon as a nigga get some money, they try to spit on it. They ain't put it on this bottle, so they can't sip on this. Don't you try to boost me up, don't try to get on, bitch. Cause I'm out like on.